Ah, não, onde? Ah. So I'm just, I'm just thinking, looking at stuff I could, old games that I could play. Do you want to know a PS2 game that, ne that I saw that never got a release? I have no idea what that is. Sub Rebellion. Oh, that's not... That's an old, so old school left field right now. This is not good. No, oh, do you know what I could stream that could be really depressing? Cat Lady. The Cat Lady. That's a weird, weird, weird game. What was I saying? Sub rebellion. It's just a submarine game. It's no, it's old. I remember it. And I've never, I've never seen it since. Yeah, it's a rebellion. Over the screenshots for his my only thing. How have I never heard of it? I, I love my NAF PS2 games and I have never heard of this. It's it's so hammy, NAF and NAF. It's a very NAF game, I enjoyed it. I never finished it either. I can't remember why. Probably because it was probably because I was young and I got caught up, but I couldn't beat. It was too hard. Cause I was a scrub back then. <laughs> That's strong words. That takes me back. That takes. Bottle sheep. Yeah. Damn, that takes me back. 
That is old. Just like that's another old school game that we really talk about anymore. The Sab, the Saboteur. That's like early Xbox. To I say, I say it was early Xbox 360. Trapped. Trapped. Uh, just give me a description of it. Oh, it's like they're like in an old, like in like a castle or something. Yeah, and the and and one of them, one of them would get locked on the tower, uh, locked on the level. Dremble Haunted House? I think it was on like CBB or something. CB, eh, CB, what was it? No, not CBBs. What's the one above that? CBBC, yeah. Jungle run, oh what, jung what, what about Jungle Run? That was fantastic. It's another old school. That's another old one. I just remembered another one as well. I remember another old game that I'd love to talk about. Oh. Republic Commando. Oh, there's a Star Wars Republic Commando. One of the first FPS I ever played. It's a gem. She may never got a sequel. They, I think they canned it. I think it was supposed to be Imperial Commando. Shame. We had like. So go on. Oh, I just found another old school game that I could play. Red Faction Two.
I say, should we just change, should we change the cheap name of this stream to Schwartz and we go down memory lane? They're great, aren't they? Back when Game Out wasn't meant to be serious. It's stuff like, is that, do you ever play Time Spitter Future Perfect? Time Spitter Future Perfect, that's the one where you go to the mansion full of zombies. Funny, f funny enough, fun, fun bit of cheery about myself, that fucked me up as a kid. It gave, it gave, that level gave me nightmares. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it was weird. It was my first introduction to zombies and stuff like that. I don't know, let If I show you the, if I if I chuck you the cover, maybe you'll recognise it. I know the one I used to play was the one with like the cartoon front, and then there was another one which had a guy that was doing like the Max Payne style bullet time dodge. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the one I didn't play. I yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. about. I see. If that was on PC, I'd stream that for for old school corner. No, that, that disc is long gone. Could I? Could, do you know there's another one? I know there's another one I'd like to stream as well. That I'd probably only stream during Halloween. Uh, oh the original God. Fatal Frame. That's. The one. That's, that's another spooky scary skeleton one. Fight. Yeah, you fight ghosts with cameras. It is spooky. Do you know what I could play? Dead Space. Oh, OG Dead Space. Back, back when Dead Space was mildly spooky. Yeah, I've got I've got a list of I've got a bunch of tabs open. We have the Saboteur, Dead Space, Red Faction Two, Medal of Honor, War Chest. What else are we talking about? There's another one I'd need to play, but I'd have to, I'd have to track down a disc for it because the Steam version doesn't work. Uh, Silent Storm. It's a submarine game. Like, it's hardcore submarine. 
like you manage the crew and everything. Uh, Mountain Blade Warbands is another one I could play. Someone's childhood though. Well, that's good. There's another game that I'd like to stream that I've never seen completed, finished or completion, which is Life vs. Planet. That's also kind of a walking sim as well. Why do I get the feeling that we've literally got about six months of content, thanks to Brian? Adam, you're a beautiful man. You have given us plenty of content for a long, long time. So I'm, st I'm still going. No, that's the bit that's actually keeping you think I'm finished? Like, my games would be simple because like, I would run through like, my favourite games of all time and like the most obscure ones of all time. So I'd definitely do like Mystic Quest on the Game Boy, or as the Americans call it, Final Fantasy Adventure, or as the Japanese call it, Psycho Nintendo, the original. Oh. Go on. Oh, God. You should remind me of something. I could. <laughs> this is gonna be sound like a heresy to you. We could play my very first Pokemon game. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Diamond. I feel old now. Or do I play? Well, it's another old one. Odd World, Stranger's Wrath. Again, I find that so peculiar that that's your childhood because Age Odyssey was mine. I know. I know. Feel free to laugh at me. It was diamond. Di uh, di diamond and pearl. Is that really 2006? Is that, is that really 2006? Oh my god. Massive order of diamond and pearl for like me and the uni friends. I was like, I'll do the order, you lot give me the money. So I think I ordered like eight copies of diamond and pearl, and James phoned me up and were like, These aren't all for No, they are honestly all for me and my friends. I'm buying a nice big batch load for me and my friends. But no, you're not. Yeah, I am. I think I bought one for, I know I bought Daniel a copy, bought myself a copy. Did I buy my own copy? Or did Martin buy his own? But either way, like, I bought eight copies in the end. Because I ended up putting everyone's order through on my game account. That was a good time for my game rewards points. Hmm. Where else could I play? Where else could I play? Where else could I play? I need. I need to go. I need to go shake down my uncle's old gaming cabinet. Do you know what I remember? I can't remember. I, I don't think I'd be allowed to stream it on Twitch. But there was an old game. Uh, it was like a free one that someone had done as like a joke. It was literally the um, assassination of JFK, and you had to play the shooter. Oh. And the closer you got, the closer you got to the <laughs> assassination, the more points you got. And it was like, oh no! This is at the time period where, like, obviously, like, you, you were just growing up with a PS2 and all that. But I was growing up in an era where the internet was the wild, wild west. And so, like, while well, you were just happy with your PS2, I had unfettered internet access. Oh, what was it called? I found I found another one, Love Rouser. That's an that's a more newer game though. Love I feel old now going down Metal Slug, not for big metal slug. <laughs> access, you uh -oh. <laughs> way back machine. I, I 
again, I don't know if I could ever get away with playing it. But it was, because um, it's a Flash game, I think, for some of it. Yeah. Um, but you could do some of it in Flash, or at least I remember some. No. That's right. No, I remember now. Do you know what you remembered? Game fudge. Game fudge. That used to be the big like flash game website I used to go on. Oh god, Newgrounds had some real cack on it growing up. Well, I remember it had some really good stuff, but then it just had like... I think that was my first introduction to... Uh, what, what's the best way to put it? Mm, not illicit content? Yeah, people sneaking it into games to upload on new grounds. And we're sort of, I'm, yeah, it's sort of like... I'm so gonna, weird content, then. I, I don't want to play Solitaire on my computer. I'm going to play this random game of Snap. This looks cool. It's got anime girls in it. Oh, they didn't tell me it had this sort of content in there. Shut down. Shut down my ass. No, seriously, I wouldn't dare play it like at uni because you have to remember we were all on the uni network and I was really paranoid at the time. Like, oh my god, what if they check what websites I'm going on? I don't want this. I didn't even know how I bet. Oh no. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, Jesus, I feel old now. Hmm? Is that what you feel like, James? Is it what you feel like? This is what you feel like, Tom. I'm, just, I'm not answering that question because I feel almost insulted. Like, if he feels old, I must be fucking ancient. Just one second. You know, you know, there are kids that are there are kids starting secondary school that I remember starting in the uh, uh, nursery. Leaving school and entering the workforce. You know what I mean? Like, to me, that's scary. People born in 2000 will be 18 this year. Hmm? People born in 2000 will be 18 this year. I know, that's what's scary. Nuts. Like, people born in 2001, 2002. People born in 2002 up till July will be leaving school at 16 with GCSEs and trying to get jobs in retail. And I'm thinking to myself, in 2002, like, already, I'd already sort of like seen like the major world events. They had, they weren't even alive for like you know, the major world events of sort of like 2001. And sort of like, how how were you not alive for that and currently in the workforce? Well, in about three or four years' time, there are going to be people who are like starting university that weren't alive for. Like the start of the Afghan and Iraq war. What the hell? I think that's probably a turning point for me. Well, it kind of is, because like for me, that was a turning point. You gotta remember, like my childhood, like from 1991 to 2001, was pretty much nothing happens. The world is good. We've just come out of the Cold War. Everyone is happy. We're a bit broke, but everyone is happy. Mm. And then 2001, war. What yeah, pretty much. Feel good time, the top games were things like Toy Mr. Fox and Mickey Mouse, not Call of Duty and like Zombie Murder <coughs> Drug Fest 17. Where are the bins? Sorry, I can't legitimately cannot find bins. SNL. It's the thing. It's the thing, James. You can give me game. Then you can you can show me game like, play. Bin. Give me bins. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, there's another old one I play. Ew. Command and Conquer Generals. Ew. No, you're not my friend anymore. No. Oh. You have to remember, I just oh. Oh. So oh. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh. Sorry. Okay, you can be my friend. I forgive you because you are young. You have to remember, though, I grew up on a diet of. The original Command and Conquer, Red Alert, Tiberian Sun, and Red Alert 2, right? 
They were the pinnacle of the Command and Conquer. Red Alert 2 was the pinnacle of Command and Conquer. So you don't like you don't like a thing, then do you? Yeah. It wasn't a Command and Conquer game. It was a very good game. Don't get me wrong. It was a very good game. But I buy Command and Conquer to play Command and Conquer. I don't buy it to play Dawn of War. And it was. That's the annoying bit. It was actually legitimately a very good game. But it wasn't the Command and Conquer I wanted to play. Like it was too different. No, it's not that it's different and therefore wrong, because I like Red Alert 3. I, I like, like Command and Conquer 3. The Command and Conquer 3 is really different, but it's still got the same heart of Command and Conquer, whereby it doesn't matter what I throw at you, as long as I throw at you in great number, I will be somewhat okay. Why? I feel bad now. If anything, it's my old age and my inherent bias against generals. I really like generals, but I really hate that they put Command and Conquer as the title. That's the. Do you know what I mean? No, so, so I guess it doesn't feel like the games then. No, let me rephrase that. Yeah. It's a good game, but it's not a good Command and Conquer game. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. No, supposing I will have to play at some point. It's like one of the few games where I bought multiple copies I, when it came down to price. I, I have it on Origin. We need to get that set up and we need to do Red Alert 2. Oh my god, you are in for an experience, boy. I have like the full kind of Conquer collection. It, it's a virus thing, I bought it just for his head generals in it. On Origin because I've already bought um, the first decade. Like on this, which came with everything up to generals, I believe. Yeah, yeah first deck. Yeah, that's what I got. I got the first decade edition. Do you know? Yeah, there's a thing I also play is Alan Wake. Probably at some point. I missed my opportunity to own the original because of well, on PC because I've got it on Xbox, but they pulled the licensing, didn't they? Yeah, I've got the collect. I've actually got the collect edition of Alan Wake. It's got a, it's got a, it's, it's a very nice collect edition. It's like a big book. Also, it's, it's got a mini book in it, which has the, the extra. Do you remember the, do you remember the FBI officer that comes in? Like halfway through the game, and then he gets uh, spoilers, snabs. Well, it's it's basically his sto his view of the story up to that point. Really interesting. But I need to ask something about Planet Coaster because I'm really confused. Mm. Why, why have you got two lasers sweeping up and down? It's queue cigarettes. They get really pissed if they have to wait in the queue and the queue isn't exciting. So wait, having lasers move up and down a queue Apparently is this is exciting. How is that exciting? It's nice scenery apparently. Well, Look, I've got 92% on scenery. That, Honestly, no. they'll be willing to wait longer and pay more for the ride, if the queue is pretty, so there's lots of elements of trying to make scenes, yeah. It's, uh, do you know what, right? And signs, because apparently, the bitches love signs. If I saw those lasers, I would immediately think, this is the Resident Evil movie, I'm about to be sliced into pieces, I am not going down that queue. He just walks through it. And then, like, you know, there's, like, creepy living in the crowd, and these little robot arms, and then another laser. I said I need to play Hotline Miami at some point. Oh, that's an experience. That's, that's an interesting question, actually. I think the Hotline Miami isn't banned by Twitch. It wasn't in the ban list. No, but the ban list says very vaguely nope. if it's unrated, that it would be given an El Tony rating, then we will ban it for excessive violence, and we will... Oh. Yeah, maybe. I think it's just pixelated. <laughs> Policy though, because does that mean things like, um, oh, what was it? Pat, was it Panthers Magoria? I think House? they mean when they say adult rating, I think they mean adult rating, not no, they mean literally the ESRB a adults only rating. Like, they I literally mean that. Get rid of this. Sorry, you know. Like, it's out. I 
thought I thought the artist reading was separate to the 18 plus. Because I'm pretty sure the ESRB one is basically you have 18 plus and you have the A for adult. Seventeen plus and adults only eighteen plus. Wow. How do I get rid of a builder? Oh. How do I get rid of a builder? Yeah, isn't it? I've never played your game, so I don't know. Oh. So if I do, if I do play a, uh, uh, I'm actually do the true ending as well. Yeah, there's a true ending. I don't know. I think it works better in America because if you do it, if you do it by the American system, it's 18 plus is their top one they can sell on the shelf openly, and then you have A, which is then you have A for adult, which is 21 plus that's sold behind the back. Like you can't, you can't drink till you're 21. Like I met some Americans out there and they were quite surprised I was drinking. Like so yeah, it's 18 plus back home. I think it's 21. But I look quite well. Hmm? Yeah, I look old. I think it's sixteen. Is it sixteen or seventeen? Oh, there's another one that we can see that's a blast from the past. Magica. Yeah, it's, it's isometric. Kind of like Diablo. Kinda. Ish, not really, but kinda. We're getting into like years with the content here. Pretty cool though. It's good we have a have a schedule. You hear that? You you listen into this future future watches of this bar VOD maybe kinda. We got schedules. Mm-hmm. It's like we w downgrade from Windows 7, but an upgrade from like XP point. I don't know. I imagine it's something to like look at. Yeah, this is a view. Do you know? Do you know? I wish I could have streamed. Back in the day, I wish I could see my armor debate my armor brigade days. Oh, armor. What happened to armor? Because like it kicked off after day Z, but like armor three came out and then it kind of fell off. Yeah. Yep, they didn't have really used they've recently DLC for it though. Hmm. I remember the thing I remember my days back in armor three. This is back 2015, 14, 16 kind of thing. Um, I used to be part of a division, but there's about 20 of us. There are many fallen soldiers as a result, I imagine. Why is it somehow I can see 
can see you as part of a small gang of 20 people just murdering like hundreds of thousands of people. I uh, see the, the see the, the my best my best ranking in that division I think was I was the radio operator in the command tank. I always go too hard in these games, I always go like, buy everything! And I think I should have done that. Um, I've basically made a lot of choices. Okay. And... So basically... Rides are really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I might even start again, or something, because... I don't... Do you, you know what this looks like? Just they're one of those exposition zones where people just turn up and set up a soul. I don't really unhappy. I don't quite know why. Adam, you're much kinder than I am. Do you know what I was thinking? You know, like those really cheap, shitty tiers in wow. down towns where they've got one ride and then like <laughs> ten different stands which all say chips <laughs> and then they had to go over what it was in shillings and pence and they put a sticker over the top. Don't mad at me. <laughs> Well, and it and it, and, yeah, and it looks like the signs are nearly like a paint like twenty years. Norfolk now, basically, so I have to be careful because it's based in my hometown. But you like got you got someone like me where so like you got a squiffy eye and they're like. Is that is that is that is that before or after it burnt down? No, that's the problem. So sort of like they burn it down for the insurance money, but it's been there so long, like it's developed that unnatural damp that presents anything from catching fire. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's been there for 120 years. <laughs> it's all that salt. It's all the salt it. that's gone into it. <laughs> like Frankenstein, why won't you burn? Why won't you die? I've gone too hard on the food. Hard rock on the ride. The rides are so expensive, they give you no money to start with. So it's like, hey, buy a ride. You spent all your money. Good job. And I'm like, ah. So I either make it like £10 a ticket to fucking dodge. I need to stream Medal of Honor at some point. Fuck, I wouldn't buy them that. So, Honestly, I said the seats, be the seats best give me a massage for that price. Well, it could be because they're all like, seriously, we've been standing here on this one ride for days. No, no, all the ones in the in the shops, they're like. Well, of course they're mad, but they're like, but seriously, they're you've got like there. seven shops for one ride. This is. Yeah. Yeah. Wig. We need to do a Grim Dawn playthrough at some point. Yes, I need to show you two Shadows of Chernobyl. You know what, I can't remember the last time I played Shadow of Chernobyl. That's a game? Shadow yeah, of Chernobyl. Yeah, sort of. Chernobyl. Yeah, first sort of game. Oh. My old housemate had, like, the collector's copy of it in the Metal Tin. Second time lucky. Damn. Shoot Company of Heroes as well, it's another old one. Yeah, I've on Steam. So Company of Heroes wasn't really a remaster, it was an update. Okay. Because basically Game Spy basically exploded and died. And basically Steam was like, hey, we will take this now, it's ours now. And you got it for free as well, which is great. Because old comp old company I see new company of Heroes basically kept its name of Company of Heroes. 
and old Company of Heroes that it replaced, which became Company of Heroes Legacy Edition. I don't know. Wow. Say, there's, there's a co op campaign to Company of Heroes 2, surprisingly enough. Okay. Not, really, not really a co op campaign, they do uh, missions. Like, yeah, they're like, war, they're like war chest missions, things like that. You probably got in one of the jumbo bundles. Oh, nice company. No, you got she got thing as well. No, she got the first game, I mean, yeah. So I gave it to her. So I, I've got a copy of the original Killing Floor as well, KF1. Oh I've also got a copy of... Well... Oh god. Oh, what's happened? Should I be bracing for impact? Doesn't fit the theme. Doesn't fit the theme of the place I'm in, thank you. Oh, jeez, humongous. Ah. Oh, it's another old game that nobody plays anymore. Iron Brigade. It was made by Double Fine, it's an old game. Basically, I want you to imagine a tower defense game. Where it instead of being stuck as an eye in the sky. Instead of being stuck as like an eye in the sky. You get given a mech, to, you get like getting like an old World War One mech to stomp around in. Like you literally get a trench, like, like a trench section on legs. I uh, say to wake just like throw it up on stream. <laughs> so you can see.
Mm. Well, Bioshock. Give me the Bioshock in a while. Mm-hmm. So back. Yeah, I think we can do this. No. 
Like, it's not gonna be like a overnight thing. Well, we, we, there's three of us here, so you can put in the effort. Most, mostly you two, because you've done most of the stuff so far. I've just... That dinosaur seems way too happy. Make sure there isn't anything in the water. There you go, he doesn't expect to break himself out. Mm, I should have another game, but... Mm. Factorio. I said I knew someone that went hard, hard to think with that. Yeah. Like, full on. What is it? What, like spearing out, or...? Mm-hmm. No, like, uh... But they like they basically build stuff in insane like contraptions. Ooh, could do a stream of XCOM Long War if I want if I want to spend like the next like year doing it. I think we need to write down a schedule, like tomorrow, like later on today, we need to do something like that. Not like a rough one, but... mm. Then we just need, we just need a roll call of the rest of the group. <laughs> Speaking of calls, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call you for tonight. I don't need to get some, should I? But yeah, it's definitely something we need to do. Alright, we're going about like 5 o'clock, something like that. Half 5, 6 o'clock. Alright, bye. Find the button. Alright.
that way we don't get that red. Ooh. How much did they have? First of all, have you made any progress? Have you actually built a second bike yet? No. Well, I'll start it again, because I fucked it the first time. Okay. Now I only have two shops, one for food, one for drink. Okay. A toilet and a first aid box. Okay. And one ride. And that's it. Okay, so how- I make enough money. Because it's annoying because it starts off with like- You start off with like no money and it all arrives like three grand, three grand, three mm. grand! And those are the shit ones. So I mean, the shit ones are that. Even the shittest ones are right around after 900 is the meat runner of 760 sorry for that, which I'm sorry isn't the most expensive thing in the world. So I'm trying to like get some money so I can do it, but it's not, I don't know. So what are you looking at then? So you just, some African one ride, hope to make some money off it, then make a second. Also, off this, because I can choose how much you sell each thing for. So, like, mm. all the other shit. And you can choose to put in extras that will make them, like, thirstier or hungrier or stuff. So, like, in the beef place, yeah. I made her put ketchup and mustard in all the burgers because it makes them thirstier. Okay. So that they go and drink at the shop. So, basically, unlike Burger King, they cannot have it their way. No. You get it my way or not. Um, it's also fourteen pounds per book. Fourteen pounds. Not per fourteen book. euros. Okay, it's like savings where the money is like hugely skewed. Um, otherwise six pounds for a milkshake is extortionate. In fairness, I've been to events where it's like ten pounds for a burger. Like I've been to like in Portsmouth Days Victoria Centre. I remember one year we saw like here is a burger stand. This is a fucking delicious burger stand. A burger will cost you eighteen pounds. Why? It's made of, yeah, it was like a double Angus burger or something. It was like authentic Angus. It's something ridiculous. Well, like this one, cheeseburger XL is 14. And you get ketchup and mustard and a lot of eggs. In fact, I can't complain about the burger. It came with fries and it was like absolutely natural. It's one of 18 the, quid. I can't remember now. It's one of the festivals I went to like ages ago. Where it was like, just part of the sandwich. Yeah, if I had some money, that'd be great. I love that the toilet block costs nothing. Why would it? Why would it cost anything? Mm. Isn't it a train station? I was gonna say, like, can you actually charge for it, like, people go to the toilet? I don't know, I don't think they could, but... Why? That'd be, like, the worst thing ever. I can't actually touch, because... I can... I don't know, I can't, I can't actually get to the toilet to touch it. Because this thing is bloody, I don't know what it is, but I can't actually get it. <laughs> so, because I'm lazy, it's no longer lazy. Now they give me a reward, now they won't pay so much because I did. Hmm. Great! Okay, 800 years. I was gonna say, this is made by Frontier Development, same guys who did, um, yeah, it's made by Frontier, who did the same, uh, who did Elite as well. Oh. It's quite a jump, really, sort of like from Elite to this. Theme park, essentially, but not theme park. I've got to admit, I'm a little less cynical looking at this as it looks a bit more like theme park than it does Roller Coaster Tycoon. And I know people love Roller Coaster Tycoon. I like it because I do like that it does a lot of work to play with this map. Like this guy. Money. Hmm. I suppose it's one of those things whereby, like, if you just check a drive, you'll be like, oh. I'm scared to just go back and play it once again. Yeah, no, it's much more fun when you've like been playing it wrong the whole time and some sudden realization. What is that? It's a staff room. I have to make it look like this because it makes it better somehow. Okay. Sort of pretty, even though it kind of isn't. This is like a really bad rating. Look, 36. 
it's it's not that bad. Imagine that as a starter in itself. I don't know. In fairness, it looks like a bit of set from like a western movie. Yeah. Like that's that is what it would look like. This. I'll just say for the record, I just saw the dinosaur hobble past and like all that. If that dinosaur came up to me, like walking like that, I'd immediately go zombie dinosaur punch in the face. <laughs> that man looks like he's got permanent, or woman looks like they've got permanent back problems. I can't stand up straight. <laughs> Someone help me! Oh, he didn't take Yes, yes, that's right. Oh, Being very careful what I say because we're on Twitch, but are you happy to like give him something to perk him up a little bit? Uh, but, but, like, here's, here's some sort of like Pepsi and like you know, here's a few things to pick you up. Drink these seven energy drinks that will get you high points. That will get you running the job. I need Out of my children. Spend your money very carefully before you go bankrupt. Look at the dragon. Ooh. Uh, bear demon. Oh, do you not get to customize the roller coaster? Uh, which one? Well, like Rubs. Zelda. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zelda's roller coaster. Mm -hmm. You can like make stuff go off, you know, like uh, make fireworks and that when you're going past, but no. Um, rubble? No, it's not great, is it? You want it to be fairly high up so it gives you more of a thrill. No, oh, no, you won't let me go any lower than that. Okay. Oh, oh can I die? Yes. Oh, fuck, I nearly there. <laughs> um. It's fine, depending where you place it, you can have like a path going up to it and loads of little like yeah, rides on the way up.
Nothing is wrong today. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Calm down. Look at all the big shiny monsters. Places it's exciting. You love them. They entertain you. Please be entertained. Not the laser scale. I think they really have laser scale. Yeah, no, I still don't trust those ice creams. I would honestly totally be like, yeah, this is the, this is gonna resident evil me. I'm, I'm done. That's fine. No, no, you can have laser scale. You just got my right. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Um, what else can I show you? Do you have anything that infers less death? I've got an animatronic of an alien getting shot. So it's got not less death in it. Um, as long as I don't get caught in the crossfire, you're good. And as long as it doesn't go west well, then like, there's all of a sudden real bullets. Oh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Lasers. A you light just, show. A you light just show. didn't like lasers. That's not lasers that I have to walk through. A light show. A light show is That's not a thing. Um, a fast car. What within the realms of possibility would make you <laughs> would make you want to come and look at this? Five pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> Radioactive tank. Would that make you come and see? <laughs> Do the 
radioactive tank so you can come and see me throw it. I'm sure there's a Batman reference there somewhere, but yes, I was going to leave that out. Radioactive tank will do. I'm going on to do nothing. Doesn't need to do nothing. I can't do that. Sci fi detect power. Whatever the fuck that is. Sci fi power turret. That looks more like a really old turret. I don't know why I would need energy to get rid of it. This makes sense. Why would I need that? What is that? Is it just like parts? No. Oh, you're looking at that. Oh. Oh good, I've got lots of snowman options. Have you just got the snowman? I don't want to get the snowman. Well, it's Ben. No. <laughs> but no. <laughs> but do you, do you, do you? No. Do you want no. to? No. <laughs> Help me find the decorations before I come to get shit. What about, um... Have you got any, um, like castles and bits and things like that, and like battlements? What do you mean castles? You know, like bits of fortress and stuff like that. Um. Like, with this, there's totally no cohesion to the theme here at all. Dragons, and also sci-fi. Dragons, and sci-fi. And castles. And rock. race cars. What about a rock? Trees. Do you know what? A rock is exactly the first thing I want to see when I prepare uh, to go on a roller coaster. Art shapes. I don't need them. I don't, I don't need that skill. Um. Um. All these sceneries are shit. Someone has poured hours and hours into this. Okay, well then you may see it again. Wh whoa! No, I wow. want to stay. The scenery is so bad. Clearly it does not meet the Lauren seal of approval. Whatever shall be done. I'm uh, I'm at a loss to suggest anything. I think you got to the point whereby you dug yourself into a little corner of I hate everything. Um, I might resort to my repeat tactic. Is that a wind? Oh, okay, never mind. What? Is that a what? I was thinking, is that like a windmill blade or something that's just lying flat on a, a windmill blade? Before? Yeah, you know, like the when I just said it was a sign. No, it's no, not. Never mind. Usually I can't think of anything else to put in the queue. So I'll just do this. Oh, well. Yes, because people love Chevron. No, but honestly, like, and, they count as signs. So technically they count as advertising for that. So people come and they're like, yeah, I totally care because of the advertising. I'm like, no, you fucking didn't. What? what really? really? Yeah. They count as advertising. Oh, that They're supposed to be on advertising poles. So they're supposed to be like to point you in the direction of a roller coaster. <laughs> but I should do this. Might as well the floor, because you're like, I'm not spending money on poles. I'd, no, I should do this for like, for, you know, uh, theme in it. Yes! Theme in it. Uh, oh my god. No, that's what I do for the other one. No! I usually go the whole way, but there was animatronics everywhere. Genuinely, this counts as advertising. This is hurting me so much. Why? It does. It's. Oh. No. It works. I don't think it should, though. I don't know. It's and your lines are uneven, and it's really fun. It's, it doesn't lock, which is pissing me off. There's literally no way to make it even. Not spending seven hours making it even. Honestly, that this. The, Advertised destination of that there, one. What, there's no snap to it? Oh. No, there's not. But, ha, ha, ow. I know. I know. This shouldn't work, but it does. Thorough 
only had the tusks. This, this really does look like cheating to me. Yeah, if it's in the bounds of the game, because it's clearly not. Oh, it's Little things that go up and down, so when you enter like a little more village, it gets you to a giant village. Why are villages cool? Fairy tale band, that really suits the uh, theme. Ah, oh, speaking of dragons, yeah. More dragons. Wait, what do we do? We aren't, we aren't impressive enough. What do we do? More dragons. So we have eight dragons. More dragons! Never enough. We gotta have, we, there's no more dragons. What do we do? Kraken! Oh, I'm not gonna do it again. No. Why is that floating? Why is that floating? The Kraken. It's, it's not floating. It looks it's like up it's on awkwardly its being held up. It is awkwardly being held up. It's not in a problem. Yeah, but but shouldn't it be like underground? Things to lower, but the problem is it rises up to go. Rawr. No, but that's what I'm saying. Do you not think it lowers it goes below ground when it comes out of the ground? It is going below the ground. Look, but it's not going completely below the ground. What the whole way? Yeah. I've gone from underground to the overground, but there, and then put a little pool of water around it. I don't think we're going to. What? Yeah, that's, that's Rackham. Rackham just meant to talk to him. Oh, you got loads of shoes. And then put it with water. Maybe you have to wait. Where the water levels can be placed and lower raised terrain to that point. Good luck. 
Look, that looks so much cooler. Can you get it like well below ground? Done your riding favour, Cameron, to chance for the water. Though. I don't know. I like the fact that it's got ripple effects on it, though. Yeah. Yeah, or well, if you go back to it, once one comes up and goes down. Yeah. No, it's not. Ripple. No, it might be. Right, so it seems Star to follow this. Not the oh, no. the rebel. oh, shh. Yeah. I forgot where the bullet took. <laughs> no, it is. It's around about the shape of the crack. It is, but you don't know. Ignore this. I'm not. I didn't just forget to do things. It's very important. Oh. Can you do? So can you put things in the ride maybe to make it look mm. the scenery in the middle of the ride? So like, ah, uh, we're just going Those people. Like, make it stand back and have a look at the people. Well, the, you think the people who walk across the people. <laughs> like, don't want to be actual people. <laughs> that's like the opposite of how you want your animatronic. That's how you get Jurassic Park. You want Jurassic Park because that's how you get Jurassic Park. Are there no scared animatronic people? Wait, shooting or dead? Or sitting? I don't think it's sitting. There you go. Oh, he stays there. He doesn't, he doesn't die. No, but he looks suitably scared. WWE is now on Red The WWE are now on Red They finally made a WWE uh, Red Hat. 
follow the profile. WWE, have you got any questions? 50 lines of. AMA. Like, well, you, you're going to have all kinds of trolling there. Oh. Bullet Club posts. Man! Internet meme, yeah, like. Yeah. I feel sorry for anyone. Anyone that's in charge of dealing with that account, like it will be like Twitter, but ten times worse. And then someone will have to read all those notifications. How's that for entertainment? A week. Sudden, taking a very, very weird turn. <coughs> well, I wasn't going to go that far, but. Is there like any other like scenery? Yeah. Where's my time to go? I'm, 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 I'm at the point where I can't make a comment. There is no comment I can make. So at that point, you're given enough time and effort, you could really make something really quite beautiful out of it. I take it it's beyond what you like doing. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's a lot of faff. Mm. It's not simple to do. Well, so it's not like intuitive or anything No, like God. Not at all. Not in its, like, possibly the least Cynical part of me says, but I don't find that that surprising because I know what Elite Dangerous is like, and that is not an intuitive game. Literally, like even the main menu is not intuitive. And how you fuck that up, I don't know. I think it's one of those things whereby, like, you go over, like, to the more where you're gonna make a game where you can do everything over make it intuitive because you that's the problem with you games. Can't <laughs> no, but you probably can. This is probably one of those things where, by actually, if you look into it enough, looking at it, you you could do so much with it. But it's one of those things where, by when you're developing a game, you have two choices. Like speaking from experience, like you have to like try and balance. You can do everything with it's accessible to everyone. And it seems on this they've gone more the hey, we're going to make this so it's like you can do everything, but you're going to have to know how to do it. Like that. Yeah. And it's not a bad thing as a I didn't know you could make your own roller coaster. Yeah. Like I assume it's impossible, but oh lord, that was way too difficult. No, because it's still a roller coaster, isn't it? Oh no, to be fair, yeah, that's just me making roller coasters. Kind 
that makes sense. I wouldn't want oh. just anyone to go, I've got an idea, I'm going to make a roller coaster. Here's I'm two bits make of a wood for crack. Like, we know how that goes. We don't do any research in roller coasters, we just put some stuff together in a car. I'm sure everything will be fine. <laughs> Ten lawsuits later. That's only because they're the tender supplies. How's that? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Like, I can also make. Yeah, I've already got into that place with that, it makes me more excited. That's what it mm. And that happens with mm -hmm. when you do this, you know, all that works. So that happens with that, but like, oh, look, this is the place, the advert. Um, that's the point. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, sorry, I remember you mentioned something before, but I'm curious about it, just because like, I don't know if anyone else watching this will actually know, but didn't you say you like ride go up and down and like how popular they are based on the race? Yes, give me one second because the ride is just broken. Um why isn't it showing blue? I'm sorry. See, know. see. This is what you get for not researching properly. It's broken. How do we fix it? Put the, the plug in. I don't know what a plug is. That's not the one I actually researched. Um, which one? Oh, it's the mechanic one. Go, go, be the mechanical man. Look at that. What I could do now, because it's such a long queue, mm. I can make a priority pass. Mm. So I can make them pay like, you know, 15 quid to get on the ride faster. Mm. Which is what I could do actually. Because it has to start and end at some point in the queue. Which I don't care. Oh, it's a video, good bye, Hayden. Oh, why are all people? They disappeared, so they put an empty tray. Ah. He wants to have a tent just to be there. One of the empty things do is make people just absolutely go nuts and just make you know keep you. I must say I'm I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. Why would the priority pass exit be before the entrance? Surely the entrance comes first and then the exit. Is that what you've done? Is that what you've done, Lauren? He needs it now. Yeah, the joys at the moment is I'm, um, like, you know, viewing your stream, I'm, like, half a second behind you, and, like, I get to mock you for just an extra little moment. So, no. No, Lauren, no. Get the priority pass. Don't get eaten by a dragon. I'm doing. Otherwise, get in line because you're getting nommed. Yeah, 
Now I want to carve the parts to make the slightly bigger. Because then I make it there and it's a bit like a rope juggling as well. Yeah. It starts like right at the beginning. Then it again. Yeah, there's a run underneath the dragon. Accidental good planning. I would be so thrilled with that. Oh my god, I gotta go underneath the dragon! Yeah! There you go. This is a nice priority for us. I'll move the dragon slightly. If you if you whack people with his tail on the way out, it's fine. And then did I need to make a building to like buy the priority passes or something? I think. Oh dear. Can you do that, dude? Uh, what is that? Priority pass, like selling or something. But obviously do it in the game. Not just the words priority pass. Priority pass, time to test it. How to set up priority pass queue. Done that. Information kiosk is needed first. You need to make sure you're able to build these shops. So if you don't have them yet, research the facility shops until you do. Uh, research facility shops. Ah, uh, information kiosk. Cool. Ah. Yep. So that'd be a ride if you would. I don't. I don't know. So just there's no. Yeah. Information kiosk. I'm helping. Thank you. Helping. Very helpful. Well done. Yay! I did a thing. You did do thing. Nice. Right. I do like that when the crafty goes down, the tentacle comes up. That sounds like a really big, bad miscatch phrase. It does. <laughs> when my cracker goes down, your tentacle goes up. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> He's already said some roots. Oh no. No, why did you go there? Why did you go there? When my tentacle goes down, your cracker goes up. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Uh. I don't really want to be taken off Twitch because, like, you've offended me. The man has power. The man is an intercontinental champion. No, he's not. No, but he should be. And he will be again. I have complete faith in my boy. He's very old, isn't he? Well, the Miz? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably. You but... can't really call him my boy, then. Well, I can call him my boy. Because, like, you know, like it's a, it's a term of endearment, isn't it? Yo, I feel vindicated though, after all these years of going, no, I really like Miz, I really like Miz, everyone else turning around and going, I really like Miz, I'm like, I fucking told you, I told you he was good. Vindication fan, this is the face of vindication. Okay. How much should I make the priority pass, tenner or more? Uh, tenner. So tenner, you're not, you're not that good yet. I so don't, don't pull that face, the, the face of, what do you mean I'm not that good? Look at your face. Like you literally look like you've rocked up one night and been like, right, I'm just gonna throw this random shit down, we're good. Decoration, what's that? You've got dinosaurs. Giant wacky inflatable dinosaurs. They're not inflatable, they're animatronics. No, but they look like giant wacky inflatable dinosaurs. That's what you need. Giant wacky inflatable sort of like what what are they call them? They're not giant wacky inflatable men, are they? They're like arms like the wacky inflatable arms I, like humans. Yeah, like tube. But yes, yeah, them. That. The thing. Baby buddies. Yeah, I don't recall there ever being anything like that over here. But like, it's like a staple of like car showrooms in America. I've uh, never seen one. They're like, always here. I've never seen one. In like um. 
where my dad lives, they have them in the garage nearby. Or they used to. I think they really? closed down. But yes. I honestly, not that I can recall, I don't think I've ever seen one in action. In action. There you go. Priority pass entrance for both rides. Yay. Let's see if any bugger bought one. If it's worth it, they'll buy one, see? And if it's not, they won't. So when these queues get busier, they'll be like, oh shit, gotta buy a priority pass, and they will. So that's pretty cool. Benches down at the back. The theme park appears to be bringing quite a crowd now. There are certainly people. There are people. I could wait for this. Oh, Jesus, it's busy than I expected. You discovered a thing. Good job, you. Oh, my God. I'm going to go take out another loan and make that. Or should I just leave it there? Um. No. It depends how quickly can you pay it back. Mm. It'll be fine. Just money, it's fine. Yeah. Over there. So that doesn't like clash with the back of that. So important that they clash with. Is an exceptional importance, yes. And you can see all the other people on the rides. From your right. Hmm. That's the only reason you're really building it, isn't it? So you can buy the rest of the theme park. No, but I'm going to go with yes. This is one of those moments where I'm like, do I still have the original theme park without having to find up the original DOS disk and try and install it in DOSBox? Mm, it's me, I'm Sam, and I use DOS. I'm sorry. I can't help it that I don't understand your fancy, like, you know, graphical graphics. interfaces. Actual graphics, yeah. Like, my mind is still blown that you don't need 640k of reserved memory. What? Yeah, so you, you don't know what I'm on about, do you? No, I don't. Well, the reserve memory is digital. That's the wrong key. <coughs> that is an area that they should know. Why do I never recover quickly? Nope, I have been hospital the month in Now where would I buy theme park out of curiosity? Not that I'm going to. I'm totally going to find my CD in it too. But that was moment my day, like my life the other day. Was finding my old CD holder and finding my original Civilization CD. I was like, yeah! yeah the happiest moment of your life. It really was. I was like, oh my god, I can play the original Civilization again and SimCity. So SimCity 2000 was sick. There's nothing better than like finding that game you used to play as a kid, do you know what I mean? You're like, I have found the disc. I, I know. Birth um, of your child might be one thing. Well, you, no. Like, no. What do you mean no? That's a moment of like, you know, pure delight. But it's not happiness because you very quickly realise one very important thing. Oh my god, I'm responsible for this oh life god. now. Please god don't it's let me mess <laughs> Please don't let me mess this up. I love her to bits, but I'm so scared I'm gonna screw this up. You're like, I make one mistake, she's going to go down a path of anarchy.
Go, Lauren, go. Build all the things. Wow, those old people were looking forward to those benches and just as quick as you provided them, you took them away. I put more down. Yeah. Sure, that's the one thing I've come to appreciate the minute I oh, hit benches. 30. Yeah, benches. <laughs> I love right. a good bench now. I love a good benches bench. Benches are fantastic. They're like, they're like I'm, I'm tired of walking. I'm, I'm pretty good. And when you have a child... They're the most amazing oh. thing ever. Oh. Like, we are we are in a field. You suddenly become aware bench. of benches. Like, uh, you never thought you'd be aware of benches in your life, but suddenly you're aware of like seating places and mm. making the toilets convenient. Oh god, mm. that's like the worst bit when you have a child. So like, oh my god, are there public toilets? So, like, if there is a disaster, like if, when when they're small. When there is a disaster. Well, no, it depends. Like when they're really really young. Like, it's fine. Like, in the first year, you're pretty good because you just need to find a changing facility. It's socially acceptable in the first year to just change them out in the open anyway. Yeah, like... Not when they're three. It's not ideal, but you can kind of get away with it. Just carry a plastic bag with you and some, like, nappy bags. So, like, you know... Little dog bags. Like, there's there's nothing worse than, like, you know, being caught out. But you're usually fine. But it's when they get to three and you're like, we're trying big girl pants now. Yeah, you know, we can never go outside no, of the house again. We can't go again. outside until you know how to toilet. it. Yes. We may never leave the house again. That's like a horrible thing whereby you want, you, know, like you still have to give them their independence. You still go out and you run around or whatever else, but you have to ask them every five minutes, do you need the toilet yet? Do you need the toilet yet? Please tell me when you need yes. the toilet. Please, please, please don't wet yourself. I know you're having a great time, but you have to remember, you have to use the toilet. You're not allowed to wet yourself anymore. Please. And then the sudden... Oh, and you know they've done it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, well, oh. Well, 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 we had fun out for the 20 minutes. Thank you for, like, urinating on Auntie Sheila's, like, carpet while we've just gone over to visit her for five minutes or something. Not that that's happened yet, but I can see it happening. Just, you know, pop next door, see Sheila, how's it going? And sort of, like, Arabella just wets herself right there. Mm. I can see it happening. Oh, God, Olivia's here taking out of the house now. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. But I have to. That's what scares me, actually. What? Like, I don't mind whether or not she grows up playing video games or not. But if she does, what's her first memory of a video game going to be? What will be the defining video game of her childhood? It's like... It, is there any way I can make sure she avoids Carmageddon until she's at least 16? Carmageddon? Oh, they're doing... I'm, I'm What's sure. Carmageddon? Have you never heard of Carmageddon? No, I just said Carmageddon. What's Carmageddon? I'm genuinely shocked. Carmageddon was like a game when I was really young. I think they've done like... A, the thing is they always tend to do like newer ones. <coughs> like ever since it came back a few years ago. Um, and it's like a game where you score points by running over people in your car basically. So my dad used to joke about it when he was driving, which really disturbed me, because it showed where he was playing when I was, like, 12. Um, and he was like, oh, 200 points for hitting an old deer. Yay! Yeah, I was like, every oh, God, game no. ever is, like, 200 points for hitting an organ. Yeah, I know, but this one actually gave you the points for it and rewarded you for murdering people. Yeah, so did GTA. GTA doesn't give you points for running over people. Is it? I'm sorry, it does. Oh, okay. I know Saints Row gives you points in Anarchy for, like, you know, doing that. Saints Row is a fun little odd little game. I love Saints Row. Especially if the second one doesn't actually work anymore. Yeah, I find that. There's really a casual saw blade. So, carry on. There's not really a way to fix that. I don't, I don't know of any. That's the only problem with like the backwards compatibility of PCs. It's not actually backwards compatible half the time. It's Just... not the PC's fault. Hmm? The, the programmer's fault, not the PC's fault. Oh no, it's, it's a six of one and a half dozen of the other. No, because they shouldn't have made it locked to FPS, because what idiot does that? No, but it's probably also, you got to bear in mind, like in the old days, they didn't expect video games to run on like completely different timers. To be fair, in the old days they didn't think... Was it that? I'm just going to run around because it juggled. Um, to be fair, in the old days they didn't think that... Oh, you know, the, the whole thing of, oh, you know... We'll never need more than thirty, and like, yeah, we did. So surely you should, you should know not to think that. I remember being in PC World, and a sales assistant. We were only in there because we were picking up something like, because 
if I remember correctly, it was when we just got the three eight six in the house, and we were going in looking at something, and the salesman wouldn't go away. And it was sort of like, oh well, like you know, you should upgrade your computer. I was like, no, we just got one, thank you. Did like not a couple of months ago. Oh, what is it? It's three eight six. Oh, you want this four eight six? It's got two hundred megabytes of hard disk space. You're never going to need more than two hundred megabytes of yeah. hard disk space. Yeah, that was quickly proven wrong. We'll say that like, everyone used to say that, and then know that's wrong. So surely they should have known that was also going to be wrong. No, because it's it's about the way things were done back then. Yeah, wrong. No, different. Like this is the thing. Even between seven, eight, and ten, like things just aren't compatible because they weren't expecting things to go the way they were. Because someone takes it down a new path, it's more efficient. Things work better that way, and so they, you know, do the best they can. That's why you have, like, the joys of DOSBox and some wonderful people to make things, like, you know, work again. That's the other advantage of PCs. If it's broken, someone will find a way to fix it. Apart from, clearly, Panic Hosting, which, like, Ugh. you're breaking, like, astronomically at the moment. I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even know what this thing is. It looks cute, and then you look at its face, and it's horrifying. <laughs> like... It's like, oh, they have a huge dick. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, wow, yeah. That's like, um... Oh. It's a drat fan. Whatever that means. Is that entertaining enough? No. Nothing is entertaining. Uh, I don't make it more entertaining. I'm just sitting here. A barrel slide, hooray, we got this out. Hooray! Oh my god, there's that little- Ah! Oh. That's cute! Please tell me you can put a monkey at the top. I call it Donkey Kong. I mean, I don't know if there's a monkey on the comic, but I can try. Doesn't really fit, but fuck it. Don't care. So whatever, it kind of works. It's fine. It's giant and it's like it's working. But I don't care. There is that entertaining enough? <laughs> no, it isn't. Do a better job. Where is everybody? I must say, it does almost look like you're getting some real life to your partner. It's getting there. <coughs> so the question is, where do you go from here? There's money at this point, I guess. And then build big roller coasters, not the shitty, li shitty little bitty ones that I've got. I want to see you try and make a custom one. I can't. I do not have the skill. Let me see if I can find the biggest one. That's the most expensive one, so I assume this is also the biggest one. I think it's time to move. Oh, no, I'm too far away. Oh my god, this was made for Adam. Oh. Bam. Look at this one. Is that a warship? It's got like a fighter it's an plane. Aircraft carrier. Oh, it's an aircraft carrier. You'll love that. Oh, there's another plane up there. I need to make that on his behalf later. He will be thrilled with that one. Is there. that too far to walk? Because I wonder. There's a path that goes that way. I know, there's a path, but it's not. 
Let's move gift shop. Mm -hmm. Who complains about the lack of gift shop? We could put another one in here. Rock the bus. What is that? What? That. This? Yeah. What's this? Oh, is it like a swinging thing where it lifts up and then you swing around in it constantly? Yeah, and just then look poop pretty. yourself. Yeah. Oh god, no. No, I hate. Oh no. Oh, I feel uncomfortable just looking at it. Ugh. Wait, yeah, there's a chest run done. Can we just pick up the silver quest? Nobody wants to bring it. Can you really bring it? Things I never want to get wrong include your rod. Where's the laser? Can the laser fix me? I like how this is better scenery, like, have a look. This, apparently, is better scenery than all of this. In fairness, it does kind of suit the theme, I suppose. And also, possibly the Kraken also. Yeah, it's better than the Kraken and the dra Dirty Dragons and the Tentacles. Maybe it depends on, like, if they, like, match the theme and if they, like, make sense. And having people shoot across you kind of makes sense. I have no idea. It just says pretty. It doesn't really explain. Why would it? That would make far too much sense. I'd make a snappy comment, but I can't think of one that's witty enough. I 
that those are the only things you'll have been fun. Oh my god, what kind of fucking... I have never seen a wheel, a big wheel that does that. What, slide in and slide out? Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Well, I'm I sure there must be something like that somewhere. I've never seen anything like that. That is kind of cool though. I think I, I think I'd die. Literally die. I would. You can let me die if you want, okay. Please don't let me die. I'd be very sad if you did. Oh my god, look at the queue on that. Hmm? Hmm? I, I, I'm not sure what to say apart from why is no one buying the priority pass. I don't know. Buy the thing. Buy the thing. Bam, they're not buying the thing. No, some of them have bought it, but not very many. I don't understand why. Maybe if I decrease the price of it? Maybe? Question mark? Mm, ain't chance. I feel like it's got to be like they, they've got to think it's worth it, I think. Is the mm. thing. And I remember with three rides, it kind of isn't. Maybe if I drop it down to a fiver and then when I got more rides, it'll be a dinner. Well, there you go. You just bought it. Yay! To join the Ferris wheel. Yeah. But that's what people buy the priority pass for, the Ferris wheel. The fucking Ferris wheel, yeah. Good choice, guys. Yeah. Good choice. Not this. With the Kraken and the tentacles and the really exciting roller coaster. The Ferris wheel that swings around in the death trap. I, for one, would like to commend them on their uh, like, choice. I really don't even know to pay attention to the Kraken. Nobody acknowledges the Kraken. Kraken isn't much fun in fairness. Oh. I thought it was fun. No, I think it's fun too, but not to them. Which I find peculiar. They like it as Q, but they don't like react to it or nothing. <clears throat> Maybe it's because it's got to be in with the roller coaster. Maybe it's like you need to add things to the roller coaster to make the roller coaster itself interesting as well. That's the I problem. could probably activate it so that when they came down here. The Kraken jumps out. You can do that. Really? Yeah. You can oh. you can do stuff like that. Um triggers. Trigger sequence. So you can tell it like okay, when when they are no there. Here. This comes up. Or, yeah, you can connect anything to it, like fireworks, even. That's cool. I'm well, just curious, though. I wonder if that does make a difference to the aesthetics of it. it. I don't think it will do the scenery, but it will do. Um. Yeah, so now the Kraken only comes up from upwards, like. I'll do that but turn him around.
see how this works. You ready? Oh, I'm afraid them as they didn't want help. What? Can you open the door? Kind of. Should have opened it on the camera, bro. Hang on. Oh, you're way there, well, hang on. Oh. Oh, it's broken. Okay, I don't quite know what happened. Maybe there's a suspense point? Okay. Pretty unhappy, it has to be perfect. I think I might have to start it before we land. Maybe. Let's just try again. Ready? I thought it needs to be earlier. Mm, I think I preferred it before when it was destroying it, people. Mm. Still quite cool, though. Yeah. Didn't realize you could do that. That's quite, you know, technically advanced. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry, friend. I've distracted you from your very, very good work. You're making me super awful. More benches. More benches.
Yeah, look at that. Hmm? Look at that Why? Why would they queue for that? Why don't you want to do something fun like play video games instead? You fools. This one guy that doesn't give a That one guy. The one guy you fucking borrowed the last one. I was like, yeah, no, no, I'm not getting caught up in that stuff. Maybe reduce the price of it a little bit? I have, it's now five of And people still aren't buying it? No. Yeah. There's not a lot of rides, so they don't feel like it's worth it, I guess. Hmm. Well, fair play, like, you know. Mm. I'd be totally like, yeah, no, 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 you're an absolute joke. In the nicest possible way. Look, while you're doing that, you see, I am trying to see if there's any reasonable way to stream Command & Conquer. The answer to this is obviously looking at it, no. Your part is absolutely free enough. Is what? Your park seems absolutely thrilling at the moment though, with all the benches. Those are what excite me. Benches? Yeah. As I said earlier, good bench. That's a bit that'll get me. Off you go kids. Onto the rides. Daddy will just sit here. On the bench. Yep. On the bench. I hate roller coasters. I'm not getting on that bench. I'm not going anywhere but that bench. That is where I live now. I am not an exciting man. Horrible flicker on there. Where? On my screen. Oh.
there's nothing like the quiet time of night when things start to settle down. And then my computer decides to explode. Um. Some more refreshments over by that corner. That's pretty cool, actually. Very cool. Yep. I think that's a good place to call it time for now. Okay. Cool. Right. Ta-ta, farewell, and we'll end the stream for the night. Bye. Bye.